Hello. Yeah, the pillbox. Yeah, I know. Been a bit, been a bit of a while actually. I've been well enough to get down here. That's my problem. It's a, it's a bit of a schlep. So, uh, it, so, so um, basically, it's been a bit of a schlep to get down here. But I've made it down here in the pissing rain today. But anyway, just come to a quick chat. Ready? Um, I think. Uh, I think God's terrible. The the. Tommy Robinson show. Hey, great. I'll tell you what, who needs, a, who needs a soap opera when you've got Tommy in the world? Oh, yeah, he's great. Tommy Robinson, Mike Stuckleberry. All right, yes. Uh, sorry. Bing bong, bing bong, very bad. Right, this goes back, I mean, to be quite honest, this goes back to a time, it reminded me, uh, when I watched the video, it reminded me of um, a time when I was under attack from this guy who had guns. He had, um, he had heavies and he had guns. And he was trying to sort of like set up a sort of like a whole sort of scene, protection racket, running stuff and running, selling drugs and doing all that, blah, 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 where I live. And he set two dogs on me once. And I, I had a lurcher called Stoggy. It's a doggy, Stoggy. No, Stoggy could, um, uh, as a lurcher, a Larry lurcher, um, Stoggy could take on all comers and these two rough bilers that he set on. Stoggy dealt with one, I dealt with the other, and they ran off yelping down the street. They turned out to be white pussies, really. They thought they were big, but as soon as they got something back, they, they, they just turned and leg leg it. You know, dogs are like humans, you know. Some are dogs are hard. They don't have to be big, they don't have to be strong. And some dogs look big and strong, and but once they get a twat, they go running off and crying to mummy. Right, which is what happened. Anyway, he told me that I was, in severe trouble for upsetting his dogs, and I was going to regret that. And sure enough, by the next morning, my I had a Rover P3 at the time, and that was trashed in the morning. And so I knew where that came from. So I spoke to me and my mate. We got together. Then the following night, at uh, well morning at four o'clock in the morning, because four o'clock in the morning is the best time. It's when all the late people have gone to bed, and all the early people ain't quite up yet. So it's the quiet time. Four o'clock's a quiet time, and I knew where this guy lived. I found out where he lived. Uh, I took a handful of black pepper and a friend of mine, and we went up there, and at four o'clock on the dot, we stowed this front door in, ran into his bedroom, which we'd already worked out which, which was going to be his bedroom, piled into his bedroom, and sure enough, there was a peppered him, and didn't beat him up. Didn't got violent on, but just gave him a, a quick talking to and sort of like explained to him that if he basically did any reprisals or anything like this to this, he's just dead man. Because I'm, you know, he, he threatened my girl with a gun and he threatened, you know, I mean, it was, he tried for fuck works. Anyway, we went back home and I said to my mate, I said, what's, what's going to happen next, do you reckon? Do you reckon he's going to come down with this thing? We went back, we went down to get tooled up and everything like that to sort of like, because we thought we might have a bunch of hoods coming down, you know, because he knew where I lived. And um, and he said, well, he said, my mate said, well, yeah, we, we've got it. He'd he just done several tours in Northern Ireland and everything like that. And he said, well, we've even got it coming in now. Or the best thing that could happen, he said, is the police turned up. And as we got home, five squad cars turned up. <laughs> so he said, oh, that's sorry. And he said, shout my name out. He, I said, yeah, that's me. And he said, uh, yeah. I said, no, I said, no, no, no. I said, come in. I put the kettle on. Let's have a cup of coffee. And I'll tell you all about it. So I got them in. I, I was telling them all about it, what we'd done, why we did it. And um, they were, I mean, thank God they had a sergeant there who was quite grown up and quite intelligent. And um, and sure enough, as I was explaining to him over a cup of coffee, who drives past in his Merc, thinking he's Mr. Dog's Bollocks, is your man. And I said, funny enough, there he goes there. I said, and he's got his Merc with him. And I said, and if you have a look underneath the, underneath the glove compartment at the back front, I said, he's got a gun under there. So they run out, they grab hold of him, <laughs> grab his gun, <laughs> Guns turns out to be no like no license, no thing, no nothing. Like yeah, I mean, it's, I mean he's, he's a crim, he's a poxy little crim. They drag him in here, and I basically said to him, and he said, "You threatened me with my life. You threatened me." I said, "Look, I said, look, if nothing happens to me, if there's no reprisals, if my car's not touched, if my girlfriend doesn't fall, trip over on the pavement and graze her knee or anything like that," I said, "You're fine." 
But if something, if you do anything to touch me, upset my dog, upset me, upset my girlfriend, upset my car, I said, you're a dead man. You got that? And, the, and he said, he said that in front of a copper. And the copper said, well, it's qualified. It's qualified. So if you're going to threaten somebody, qualify it. So as long as you don't do so-and-so, you'll be all right. But if you do so-and-so, I will retaliate. And this Mike Stuffleberry guy, like, you know, when Tommy went, Tommy went in there and knocked on his door. I mean, that's the most terrifying thing you can do. It's a working class thing. Take it to their door. Because it's, people, when they, their Englishman's home is his castle and all that lot. But you go and bang on your bloody door. And like that Mike Stuffleberry must have shat himself when Tommy turned up. Absolutely. Now he's called the police and made a police complaint. Thank God Tommy videoed it. Because he's got video evidence to say that he hasn't actually done anything wrong. He hasn't thing. And let's face it, what do the police do when they get a complaint about Tommy Robinson? They rub their hands together and jump up and down with Joe Glee because it could mean I could be the one that actually got Tommy Robinson, like, you know? You know, oh you know. I shot Jesse James. Yeah, the coward that shot Jesse James. And Mike Stucklebury. Yeah, you. You. Let's have a look at it. What did you do? I mean, Tommy's pretty sure. Yeah, and I think he wouldn't have knocked on your door if he wasn't pretty sure. So you sent the goons around to somewhere where you thought he lived, where there were children. You spent the ginger-haired goon around there. Uh, you are evil if you've done that. If you, are, if you are guilty of that, you are evil. And you look in the mirror and you will see one of the bad guys. Not one of the good guys, one of the bad guys. And if that's how you want to be, you're going to have to face the consequences because sooner or later, somebody's going to come along and they're going to deal with you. Okay? Right? It's how the world is. It's what really, really goes on. I know we feminise this world and everybody's got to be touchy-feely and everything like that, right? You know? But no. Nah. There comes a point when you cross the line. And if you're sending goons around to kids where there's kids and there's women and children, then... You've got to take what's coming, okay? Because basically you're one of the bad guys. If you had a hat, it'd be black. In fact, I've got your hat here. You're not going to ride into town on a white, on a big white horse with a big white hat. You're going to be one of the idiots wearing these in the dusty things and getting shot. That's what happened, yeah, in the movies. Yeah. So well, good luck, Tommy, and. I think Tommy's going to disappear off YouTube very, very shortly. So um, do do if you want to keep up with the um, Tommy show. Um, I think it's 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 TR News. TR News. WWTR News. Dot news. TR dot news. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, and subscribe and everything like that. I don't know how skint Tommy is. I don't know how rich Tommy is. I'm not rich. I can't I can't afford to go chucking money around the people, but I will help in any way that I can. Okay, people, peace and love. And Mike Stuckleberry, like, you know, that made me laugh watching that video, him knocking on your door, because I knew what you were doing inside. <laughs> you were pissing your pants.